Hey guys, welcome to Baseline Beatnik. I'm Brandy and this is Colin Newman. Colin Newman. What's up guys? How you doing? <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about Age of Adeline and we just saw it in the movie theater and it was awesome. It was great. It was really, really. Okay, yeah. so we haven't, it's been about an hour and a half since we've seen it mm -hmm. and we haven't discussed it at all right. because we're waiting for this mm -hmm. and now we're going to do it. So what do you think? We've been Biting our tongues, trying not yes. to say anything, because we wanted to talk about it as soon exactly. as it finished, right there in the theater. But we 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 made a pact to not until this yes. very moment. So I hope it works out. Yeah. <laughs> and I hope you guys like it too. Okay, so what are your first initial impressions of Age of Adeline? I have to first say that I really really loved it. And yeah, it, yeah. There's there's some love for it for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The depth that Blake Lively brought to her character was incredible. Unexpected. I, it was really unexpected. Yeah. I mean, because she comes from Gossip Girl. Right, right. So I, <laughs> admittingly, like, a little bit I, of low expectation for her. Yeah. And for her performance. Me too. But I was, I was amazed. Like, after maybe, like, 20 or 30 minutes the film went by, I was like, all right, she's bringing it. Yeah, it was very, very solid. And her the specificity that she brings to being alive for so long. Mm. And that same body is really... I really believe that she was 90, 100, whatever. Yeah, 100. I think at the end, it was just like 102 years old. Yeah, 100. And so I think she was born yeah. in 1908. Yeah, 1908. Yeah. That's crazy. I know. I can't imagine being born in 1908. That'd be yeah. so amazing. Like going through the whole Industrial Revolution and yeah. like having horses and carriages. I mean, that's definitely the, the positive way of thinking about it. But on the other hand, I mean naturally you you, you 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 fall in love with people and then they mm -hmm. leave you and then they die and then you don't age a day i mean that's and your daughter freaking sad and not being able to spend time with her daughter because yeah because she, of the plot yeah, point, yeah because well i mean yeah it's kind of a spoiler if we say that but yeah. she does but the whole concept of the movie is that she stays young and mm -hmm. people move on and most people know that ellen burston who is another fantastic actor mm. um plays her daughter <laughs> Right. And that's interesting in and of itself. It's right. kind of cool. She's conceptually. Like on this like uh older woman playing the younger daughter thing from mm -hmm. Interstellar last year. Oh yeah. Um Matthew McConaughey plays her father. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so she's like found this this new type of role that she, I guess like she's going to be doing it. Yeah, this little niche. But I but I think in this one it felt as if the relationship was more fully developed in some way yeah. because well and, and that might just be compared a, to interstellar compared to interstellar right. i feel like it could be possibly because she had had a lot of interaction with her mother in age of Annaline. Mm -hmm. so they had they were very close and they spoke on the phone all the time and they had a very close right. contact with one another right. and she was very distant from her father in interstellar which may be right. a good kind of contribution no what's the word i'm looking for i'm not sure what her um, her role her role in which film and in, interstellar like the way that they're they differentiate right because like it was a complete i mean he was he was absent from mm -hmm. the world for all those years mm -hmm. she was very present in adeline's life in this film yeah which you know they I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but but I um, I, I'm, I'm trying so hard not to say too much. But yeah, it was a much more of a formed relationship, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The depth was yeah, it was there. certainly there, mm -hmm. and you felt like she was her daughter. I never for once thought that she wasn't her daughter. Yeah, which was really strange because That's she's true. significantly older than her. Right. But she, it's like I was watching myself interact with my mother, mm -hmm. and and Blake Lively really embrace that character as well as she the did. mother she did yeah no you're right exactly how believable that was was amazing mm -hmm. to me that that this woman could look up to um uh, blake Lively, lively's character as her mother mm -hmm. uh and it was just mind-blowing how how they got it they just they got they right into it. it they nailed it they did such a wonderful job and i just i loved it and another really great actor in the film mikiel husman who plays ellis who plays ellis he, he was mm -hmm. awesome I Great. love him. He's yeah, so he was... awesome. He was um, Dario in Game of Thrones. If mm -hmm. you guys watch Game of Thrones, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, he was great. Yeah, so, so good. Played a real smart guy. Very, very real smart. Real smart guy. But very... Trust fund guy. 
No, 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 no. He wasn't a trust fund guy. No? Remember, he and he had developed an algorithm in college. Sold and it. His, That's, sold and he and his business. best friend sold it to mm-hmm. some econ guru right. or something like right, that. Right, right, right. So, and he had been a humanitarian after that, and he was just donating right. and whatnot with all of his books. But he comes from a <clears> math <throat> background, like his father, right. which is played by Harrison Ford, who had some of the most incredible yeah. nuances in his character. It was amazing. Yeah, it was... I, I didn't even know he was in the film. I remember seeing a promo for the film mm-hmm. months ago and remember remember hear, hearing his voice at some point during the trailer and being like, oh, that's Harrison Ford. Yeah. Forgot about it. We went to go see it today and he, he was the sleeper for it for oh, me. Oh, for Just real. Phenomenal. Just mm-hmm. exactly as you said, so nuanced and his delivery and, and like his voice... His voice got it for me. His voice was the whole performance. Really? Yeah, it was. It, his I thought delivery, it was his eyes. Like his eyes, just really. Because he was so so emotional for him. That the the encounter between he and Blake Lively's character mm-hmm. is so deeply emotional to him because it goes back to an older time in his life where there was so much love and it all came rushing back to him. And because I, I feel like it's. I think that is interesting because a lot of times. You have an old wound and you think that you're over it. Mm-hmm. And then it's never been able to heal because you had never had any closure. Mm-hmm. It's like losing a loved one out to sea and you never find them. Exactly. And then it just hits you like one day and you're like, holy mother. How do I deal with this? Yes. I mean, it, it's his 40th and a wedding anniversary mm-hmm. to his current wife. Um, Which he gives a brilliant uh, speech to his wife. It was he so does. lovely. It, when they're alone in the room? Yeah. No, no, no. Um, for the group at the actual wedding. Oh, reception. yes, yes. Yeah, the anniversary <clears throat> The reception. toast. The toast mm-hmm. to her. That's right. It was really lovely. Mm-hmm. But no, I really just... Harrison Ford, there's, there's, one, there's one point where he throws in the keys. Mm-hmm. That, and, and that line delivered right before he throws the keys was just like... He couldn't have delivered a better, more emotionally impactful line for me. He says, do why, do, why do you love her? Yeah. And what he says in response was... We won't give it away. Yeah, but wonderful, but wonderful, so, wonderful job by Harrison Ford. The, Absolutely. the romantic in me is just like, oh, hello. Yeah, me that. too, me too. <laughs> You're like, oh, it's so, yeah. so wonderful. It's so wonderful. Oh, oh my God. It's like O-M-G. the best. O-M-G. It's like totally romantic. Oh, my God. Like serendipity. Like just it's like. It's totally like serendipitous. Oh like God. my mind is blowing oh. right now. Blown, blown, blown. She's like, blown. Yeah. For real, guys. And you should definitely check it out. Without giving it away too much. Mm-hmm. There are some really cool uh, mathematical aspects about it. And um, Explain. I mean, how they're talking, like, about the algorithm and um, Ampere. Oh, oh, of... oh, and there's, like, a small, like, cosmic element yes, in the, the film. Co- mm-hmm. And I thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah, that was a cool little element yeah. they added in there. Mm-hmm. They're like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another um, tribute to Interstellar. That's right. <laughs> another another reference there, mm-hmm. yeah. I guess we like that film, too. We a little do. bit, yeah. Just the tiny awesome. bit. Awesome. No, a lot of it. I didn't see it in IMAX, and I should have. I should have, too. And but should we release it? it? We probably will in 20 years. Hopefully sooner. Maybe 10 year anniversary? Maybe. Maybe. I'll have an IMAX theater installed in my house before then, I think. Oh, yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, I'll be rich and yeah. famous for that, by that time. Uh huh. That sounds we feasible. Will be. Rough up. Rough up. Okay, yeah, so check it out uh, because we both really liked it. I loved it. Yeah. Very time in the movies today. Mm Mm-hmm. It was awesome. It was great. So thanks, guys, for watching this review with us, me and Colin. And thanks for tuning in to Baseline Beatnik. If you want to subscribe and watch more videos, you can click on the little icon. It's little B. And watermark, awesome. You can watch more videos. And you can check out Colin. Do you have a channel? I don't have a channel. But... But Thinking about it. He, he should do it because he should put some music up there. He does music and he's a plays the guitar. You playing the guitar? A little bit. A little bit of the six string. Yeah. A little strumming here and there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yeah, he's a, a heck of an actor too. He's in my class. You ain't too bad yourself. Oh, thanks. Oh, shucks, guys. She's the reason I'm there. That's true. 
So thank you. It happens. Oh, you can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You do yes. any of those? I do. Instagram me if you'd like. At I'll uh, put his link in the comment show box. notes. Mm-hmm. That's right. Bow show. Bye guys. Show. Hope you have an amazing day, an amazing night, whenever you're watching this, because it could be any time of day. Who knows? It's YouTube. We don't you know. Can watch it whenever. We don't want to know when. Just do it. I mean, but you could tell us if you want. That would be an awkward, weird comment. Yeah, but that's but up to you. That's a totally up to you. It's up to them, right? It's totally up to them. Totes. Bye, guys.